together. Come on, Greg. Hey guys, what is going on? Today it's Jake, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the ending of the Easter egg of the Infection Exo Zombies map and what happened. What was that the point of all that? <laughs> now, the steps in the Easter egg were kind of absurd. You're giving a real burger to a robot, that's kind of um, a little plot hole in the sledgehammer uh, st storyline, kind of. But you happen to send a rocket into space or wherever it goes so you're sending a rocket into the air what is that rocket for well this video will be explaining that along with the whole kind of map in general why, why were the characters are there why um, certain things are there so I hope you guys enjoy if you guys do in fact leave a like on this video and if you guys enjoy this content or more zombies content subscribe I do zombie theories and ex explanations I don't I tried doing the uh, the Easter egg guides but uh, I got stopped at like step five and I was just like you know what screw it I'm done so I'm more of a uh, ex explanation kind of guy with zombies so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So during the end, you achieve sending off a rocket into wherever it's going, into the sky. So we're just gonna say into the sky. What is that rocket for? What was the point of setting that rocket off? I'm really gonna focus on that. I know in the end of the Easter egg, you activate Bubby. Bubby becomes an actual robot that kills zombies for you, or another ending where he just disappears and we don't know what happened to him, but you set him free in some way. We're not gonna talk about that because that's not important. That's just kind of, uh, a cool little thing they've added, but it has nothing to do really with the storyline. So we're going to talk about what the rockets were for. Just remember, the characters, they don't like Atlas at all, okay? We know for jo for sure John Berthal, or, I mean, uh, John Malkovich, he d despises them, okay? He resents them, he does not like them in, in any way, shape, or form. And uh, when they call in, they're talking to him like, we'll, we'll escort a rescue. Uh, he's just like, whatever, I don't believe you. Well. We're going to get back to that guy that's talking to you guys in the Warbird. Because he's actually not with Atlas. And um, so yeah, we're going to talk about him after. But just remember, we're playing as the main character still. We're still going along with the story. Uh, we went off from Outbreak where they tried to get out. Then the uh, Warbird was shot down, which I'm also going to get into. So anyways, starting off. We're going around the map, okay, and we see a bunch of graffiti, a bunch of just different writings on the wall. And one of them, there's in two locations on the map, maybe even more, I just found two, of the Atlas logo with a circle and a X on it, meaning, screw them, basically. So basically, the general public, people don't like Atlas, okay? So let's think of it like this, the government comes and takes control of everything like Atlas does, he, they come and they control everything we do. There's going to be some free roamers, people that don't agree with their stuff. People that are going to do whatever they want uh, and graffiti or and kind of show that they don't like them. Okay, they're going to go, uh, they're going to go proclaim their hatred for Atlas um, in any way, shape, or form. Rebels, basically. I'm thinking that's what we're seeing along with the uh, infection map. We're seeing. A community that's in the future that's done getting driven by a huge corporation called Atlas um, and I don't know just I, they started a zombie apocalypse basically if you don't know what I'm talking about just look back into um, outbreak you know they they're watching from satellites knowing that this is happening um, and they had their zombies in their labs experimenting on them and then it kind of breaks loose um, and turns into a world event we don't know exactly if it's all over the world but uh, most of the world so far so we could get a conclusion that uh, the people don't like them now what was the point of me saying that they don't like the Atlas Corporation well they want a revolt and why would they want to revolt? Well, because of the topics I told you, but how? How are they going to revolt? Well, we know that they're in space, or in satellites watching. We could hear in the end of Outbreak, if you die, we hear them talking and about the main characters after they die, like, uh, should we send people in for them? 
because um, we know that they confirmed dead or we should, should we should make sure if they're dead for sure so we know that they're watching and they're somewhere in satellites or space or somewhere they might not even be in space they might be watching from satellites but we know they know what's going on but how is there going to be a revolt if Atlas is watching from satellites? Burger Town. Burger Town is a restaurant, a burger joint. But inside that big burger on the top is a control panel with a rocket. So my theory is that they're disguising the revolt in a Burger Town. They're, they're disguising it with the restaurant to make sure Atlas doesn't know what's going on. But because of the outbreak, they weren't able to succeed in what they were doing. That's why they needed you. They needed you to go around the map scavenging parts, scavenging batteries, scavenging key cards, um, fingerprint scanners, whatever it may be. They needed you because they're not there anymore. So that was the point, is to send a rocket probably going somewhere where Atlas is. That rocket is probably a rebel rocket from the community or the just the, the rebels basically I'll call them and uh, making their strike against Atlas now in the beginning of the video I said that everyone our, our main characters don't like Atlas that was uh, wrong only John Berthal they know he knows the big picture he knows that they're no good um, John Mal or John Berthal sorry John Malkovich knows that John Berthal likes them they he thinks they're the greatest people on the planet because uh, you know all the hidden stuff that they do is hidden and all the uh, good stuff uh, air quotes good stuff that they do uh, is shown and John Berthal sees that and thinks they're good the girl I don't really know I'm not gonna have an opinion about her um, but this guy uh, that I'm going to show you right now I forget what this guy's name is but he was some kind of higher up in the Atlas Corporation so he knows their secrets he knows what they're capable of and you know he doesn't he, he goes along with the textbook but I mean he I don't know what but but this leads me to my next point with this guy when an atlas when the uh, warboard comes in to save survivors he's he acts like who are these people and he knows that they're not atlas because of a quote he says those aren't standard warbirds you're driving where's what's the serial number or something like that he asks for the identification of what this guy who this guy is and he just stops talking then he's like hey hey i'm talking to you uh, what's your identification and so basically basically we get a hint that those warbirds those guys aren't really atlas those guys are possibly um, rebels that I was talking about they're people that don't despise Atlas that maybe even had part to do with that rocket that they needed to set off and that's explained or that's proven because of the um, the care that they give with the civilians that are around the map they want to save them as for Atlas they wouldn't they wouldn't risk their lives to save them because they know that uh, they, they caused this and they don't really care. We always hear quotes from the guy that I'm showing on the bottom left that he's like, Atlas wouldn't come, it's too much of a risk. And he knows that because he he's a uh, higher up in Atlas and he knows how they work. But anyways, that's the, that's the theory, that's the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like. I know it's longer, I'm sorry I should have made this shorter, but uh, whatever. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like, and if you enjoy more zombies content like this, subscribe. In conclusion of the video, uh, basically, the point of the Easter egg was to um, do what the rebels didn't have time to do because of the zombies outbreak. Um, they sent a rocket off to destroy wherever it goes, the Atlas Corporation, either a satellite so they couldn't watch us anymore, or an Atlas facility. Um, on the ground wherever it may go we might find out in the next zombies map and anyways that's the video I'll talk to you guys next time goodbye